Welcome back to Kipi Chu TV. It's been a long time. Um, actually, we are standing here right now in Tittichheim um, for the, the, the venue of the warm up show, which will happen almost exactly in four weeks here. And um, we are back and preparing for, for the show here with Attacker, uh, Century, Acero Letal, Black Mask. Black Mask, and Dolmen Gate. And uh, the, the show is completely sold out. Many people writing me if they still can get a ticket or anything. No, sorry. <laughs> and um, we just want to uh, return to Kibi2 TV and show you some stuff from Kibi2 Rising last year. Also a few video clips from uh, bands performing uh, in four weeks here. And um, me and Torsten will lead you through this, so we are happy you will enjoy it. So let's start off with our Mexican friends uh, from Black Mask, uh, who we will uh, play here at the warm-up show, uh, and we will show uh, the uh, video clip from them, and then we uh, will continue with other bands uh, playing um, on the main days in Königshofen.
So next up, we have uh, Mogul Blade. They released uh, or will release their new album shortly before uh, Keep It True in April. And they made a really, really cool video clip. Uh, and it's called Heavy Metal Wraiths. So next up, we have our friends from Greyhawk from Seattle in America. They also release a brand new album and we have the track Thunderheart.
So next one is a is a very very amazing band, and they released one of the albums already of this year. And uh, when I booked them, I was I heard some advanced songs, and they blew me so away that I need to book them. And it's uh, uh, the band from uh, uh, former Manila Road bassist Phil Ross and uh, uh, Brandon from Pagan Altar and uh, many others. It's it's simply amazing. It's Savage Oath. And we will show you the, the, the clip for the song Night of the Night.
before we start with the Keep It To Rising uh, number three part, uh, I wanted to tell you that um, Keep It True in April is not yet sold out. We still have a few tickets left. You can purchase uh, through our um, website. Uh, you can see the links for the, the online uh, tickets uh, on our Facebook site and on our Instagram site. So um, if you want, it's very easy. Come here. We have an amazing festival coming up here and um, you will all enjoy it. But now we head over to the past. Uh, Kibi Two Rising number three was a really, really amazing festival. And it took us a little bit longer this time to uh, to do the videos from it. But it's it's very much worth it. And um, we will start now um, with a band uh, from Switzerland that uh, started off really, really uh, big in a very uh, small time. It's Amethyst. And uh, they are amazing guys. And uh, after some of the, the, the live footage you will see, there will be also uh, little interviews that Amy from Solicitor did for us. She had a lot of fun here and she will do it again in April. So if you meet her, give her a big hug. She's a, she's a great woman. And um, yes, now we start with Amethyst. Enjoy. This next song is called Rock Nights. Thank you. I'm a rocker, I'm starting to die. See us run through the city night. I'm the dangerous of the prey, and that's the way it's got to be. We're running here, we got some steel. Listen to that sound that trail. Just a little twice and change. I feel the blood run through my legs. Just a thunder storm in the air. Everything to twist or tail. And the sky turns black at night.
Thank you so much. Ice one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Nice to be here on stage. We got two more songs for you. The first one is a cover by Mendel Spray, and I think this is the right place to play this. Thank you. On to the borderline. Cheers, guys. This is our last song for today. And what else is missing? Stomp side, eh? Let's do it. Let's play Stomp Child. Thank you.
because of dark delays and it's a break out of its soil. To be a part of this strange world. The light of fire bones and guiding path to resurrect what's left behind. To free another ancient soul. I had to leave behind all the choices of my life. I found a world that saved my mind. Keep it true! Sweet! All right, welcome. Hello, I'm Amy. Hey. You are? I'm uh, Miguel Sanchez, the bass player in Amethyst. I'm Ramon, the guitar player in Amethyst. I'm Eve, also the other guitar player in Amethyst. Excellent, thank you so much. Obviously, we're doing some backstage interviews here at Kit Rising 3. And... Real quick, obviously you've already said your names. You said who you are. Where are you from? Uh, we're a band from Switzerland, though we're from different parts of Switzerland. Uh, but yeah, we found together through our friendship and common passion for heavy metal music. Heavy metal rules the world and brings us all together. Hell yeah. Am I right? Yes. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always right. Okay, oh. so... <laughs> Super casual, very easy. Uh, are you on the road right now? Is this a one-off? No, this is a one-off show. Okay. We came here yesterday and go back home on, on Sunday. Excellent. And you just released an EP or is that just coming out? Uh, yeah, we released the EP at the beginning of the year, I guess. Okay. Or was it last year? I think it year? was March. March this year, yeah. Excellent. It's called Rock Nights. Uh-huh. It's pretty cool. Pretty you should, rockin'? You should listen to it. If you are a rock knight, you should listen to it. If you're a rock knight. Are you a rock knight? I hope so. Uh, of course, yeah. You I better be a rock knight. Rock I are you a rock knight? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, you're I, probably I, rocking the night. I, yeah, I'm rocking the <laughs> night, and I think I'm even a... I would even go as far and say I'm a rock paladin for all these RPG lovers. A out rock there, squire? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 a paladin. Uh, so, if could you show us your sword if you are a real rock knight? Oh. We're not going to do that here. Keep it in the sheath, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> Any plans to tour anytime soon? Um, no, not at the moment. Uh, so, uh, we're going to release uh, our album next year, and uh, so we have to check out with uh, our booker uh, what the plans will be for the next year. So, right, we have right. some single shows confirmed for festivals. That's exciting. Like that, but uh, not a tour at the moment. So. Okay. But uh, I think uh, there will be one, maybe. Okay. And we are maybe. looking forward. Someday? Yeah. No, nah, next year. Possibly. <laughs> Things are, make, <laughs> are being maybe. in the making. Yeah. So, so to say. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Well, thank you so much. We're going to conclude this and head on through the rest of the day. Who are you most excited to see? Uh think uh, alive and dangerous yeah exactly that's what i mean yeah that's me as Lizzie. well i mean finn lizzy is so a huge influence on our music i mean like right, right. how can you not uh, be so excited about this i mean like yeah no that's and awesome <laughs> that's awesome thank you guys so much thank Appreciate you it. for having us thank you for being a part of this thank you rock and roll rock nights hey welcome back uh next up we have the Italian maniacs from Witch Hunter, which delivered a killer live show with uh, lots of blood. And uh, please enjoy. Lucifer! <laughs> Oh, 
Stay with me. 
Right, this is Amy with Kit Rising TV, and I'm here with Witch Hunter. For those who don't know, where are you from? Martin Siguro. <laughs> we, from, we came from Italy, yeah. Central Italy. Yeah. Oh, okay, so three different places. <laughs> this was important, East Coast. Yeah. Awesome. You guys just performed. It was phenomenal. How do you feel about the rest of the lineup today? Who are you looking forward to? Well, 
today. Yeah. Today, today. Today is a great day for us. Okay, for us it's an honor and a great emotion to play for a crowd like this for Keep It True Festival. I can uh, I came um, in Keep It True Festival for uh, 20 years because um, Keep It True Festival for uh, for me is one of the best festival in the world. So for us it's a very it's an honor and a very emotional for us to play here. And uh, we offered a great show to all the crowd of Keep It True. And it certainly seemed like it. Take a moment to introduce yourselves. Oh, yeah. And um, keep it true, it's fucking heavy metal festival. Yes, right. This is the best festival <laughs> in the world. And your name? And your My name, name is Steve. <laughs> Steve DiLeo from Witch Under. I am AC Justini, lead guitar. Silvio Chuck Verdecchia, rhythm guitar. Fabrizio Thunder Rosati, bass guitar. Look at the filter, drum. <laughs> Only one. <Yeah. laughs> no, you guys are great. So, who are you looking most forward to seeing, not just today, but tomorrow as well? Because you're here for both days, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, today and tomorrow. Yeah. And we are really looking forward to see also Doropesh. Of course. Yudo. But also Evil Invaders, the other guys from Ambush. Yes, yes Flotsam and Jetsam. Yes. And Eleven Dangerous, really, we want yeah. to see. Yes, it. we are great, great yeah. fans of Telizzi. And uh, to us, to, awesome. to see tonight uh, Brian Donning on drama is a, Hell yes. is a great dream. We, we sing with the crowd all of the course. songs that uh, he, play, he will play tonight here. Yeah. Heavy Metal Mania. So, I've been asking everybody, you just had a recent release, yes? Or do you have one coming up? Well, uh, we released the uh, Metal Dream uh, one year ago, uh -huh. and uh, with the MVT introduction, and uh, the release uh, was very good, uh -huh. okay. And uh, we are working for uh, another release, another for sure. I think, uh, <laughs> okay. I think in uh, one year, uh, yes. yes. In another year? Yeah. So is this a one-off, or are you are you touring around? What's next for Witch Hunter? Up uh, the Amers. Up the Amers oh, is the about next. Live. About Live. Okay. I, live, yes. yeah, about yeah, Live, yes. Yeah. About yeah. Live, yeah. Yeah, well, we have uh, another live show in, uh, in the next month. We will play in Up the Amers Festival in Athens, and uh, and uh, the Invitings production attack yeah. okay, awesome. here in Germany. Yeah. Ha, we love to play in Germany. We love to play in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> For us, it's the Germany best. Germany is off the chain. <laughs> <laughs> best metal sure. maniacs around. Best like metal maniacs around. Germany, we like German girl, we like German <laughs> beer, we like all, yeah. So for us, well. it's the best. And, uh, well, so we have uh, these two, uh, two shows, and, uh -huh. and then we, mm, we work about... Uh, we are next, working uh, on the next album. The next yes. album, awesome. yeah. That we wish to release in 2024. Okay. But we are planning, so when we fix everything, yeah, we yeah. Re when we will sure to, to go uh, to the yes, from Excellent. The, for the time when we release, we say something about, we will say something about. But we work no, all yes, the times about working. our show because we are, uh, we have a very kiss maniacs. Intense show. So <laughs> we want to... Uh, Up the ante. Uh, on yeah. the stage, yeah. uh, also the, a great show for the people because the respect the respect for the people that come uh, in our show is right. to offer a great show for Good. the people. And for us, it's the most, in, uh, the most important things. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So on that note, what was a show that you saw? It could be anyone who answers this. What was a show that just blew your mind so completely when you were like a young, baby, tiny metalhead, right? Well, and, like, not just inspired you, but like you <coughs> maybe want to keep that in your mind when you play. Yeah. Oh well, mm -hmm. I, I I know it's a tough question. Well, it's a it's a hard yes, question yes, for me. About. For me, it's freely. Ah, it's the law. Okay, it's my religion. Kiss is my religion, but it's really is. It's most <laughs> okay. So the first time when I was eighteen. Uh, with my father, seventeen, eighteen. With my father, I went to London 
to see a Sfrilion guitar and I crying all the times. That's it's awesome. A, my, uh, my influence is really, but for all us, I think that yeah. Kiss, Kiss represents okay. uh, the... Some of the best influences in the... Yeah, we are night, uh, like we are night in Satan's service. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, thank you guys so much. Seriously. Thank you so much. Excellent yeah, show. Yeah. And I'll see you the rest of the weekend. Yeah, yes, well, thank well, you, well, Hemi. Well, it's well, only well, heavy well, metal, well, but we like it. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Whoa. Up next are the Greek warriors from Triumphor, who played also an amazing show, um, delivering the goods like old Man of War. Then they even covered uh, Blood of My Enemies um, from Man of War. And... Um, Great band, great people, please enjoy. The blazing! You are the blazing circle. Favorite of the 
hatred, deadly fire, passes his soul to the eternal Elysian fields. The last residents of wise and brave, there were sadness gone fucking rain. Thanks to Oliver and keep it true. Hail keep it true. Hail keep it true festival. One more. So. Another one. Awake. The fucking dragon.
Hi, I'm not the only guy from Didikheim. Here I have my old friend from the beginning, Mr. Michael Paranoid. Please say something about Destructor, Michael. Yeah, here it all began. I think it was in year 2007 with uh, Keep It True here in this little hall. And now there was a gig again in Würzburg, Keep It True Rising with my good friends and my brothers from Cleveland, Ohio, Destructor. This one is dedicated to Iron Ingo. This is the Iron Curtain. Shut up, standing in mind, that's 
fight. The Iron Curtain. Iron Curtain. Let me hear you. Iron Curtain. Chained by the force of the curtain. The Iron Curtain. Iron Curtain. The Iron Curtain. There's nothing to do Hunger is alive In this seven hungry man In evil life can't live Now it's just to pay To the curtain The Iron Curtain Iron Curtain The Iron Curtain Chained by the force of the curtain The Iron Curtain the Iron We got one more for you. 
it's time to pound. And what are we going to pound today? Pounding what? Pounding evil, that's right. Awesome. All right. This is Amy Lee Carlson with Kit Rising TV. Hi, Amy. And hello. Hi. I think I recognize you. Whoa, <laughs> crazy. It's like I saw you last week I or know. so. <laughs> Wild. So for those who don't know, who are you and where are you from? 
We are Destructor from a little town called Cleveland, Ohio. Hello, Cleveland. Hello, Cleveland. <laughs> we got Love lost it. coming up here. Oh, wow. All right, so, so you guys just played earlier today. Yep. It was awesome. Thank you. Who Thank you. has been your favorite so far, or who are you looking forward to the most of uh, today's lineup? I like I, the I, Evil Invaders so far. Yeah. They're, they're good, man. Yeah. Really good, yes. They good. They did good. <laughs> they good. <laughs> I, I I love all the bands, so I I, I don't right. want to name a favorite I know it's because hard. I don't exclude it's somebody. Well, so far, I, I mean everybody's been good, but I think I like the Evil Invaders. But so I, much. I've been they started playing. I was friends like, with Doro for a number of years, so it'd be great to see them again. And yeah. saw Johnny D. Yeah, Johnny up, upstairs yeah. and yeah. talk to him. He's always been very very kind no, to me. That'll so. be great. I definitely want to see Brian Downey, Scott oh, Thin Lizzie, yeah. the yes. Alive Alive Dangerous. Alive Dangerous. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a great time. Speaking of Johnny. I, I sent them a message one time. He showed me a picture of one of their shows, or you know, from behind the drones, and he got this really neat throne that he had. And I, I said, I said, where did you get that from? That looks really cool. You know, he gave, he, he gave me the name of it and everything. And I looked it up, and it's like it's like over a thousand dollars. Oh like, my gosh, <laughs> that's, oh, that's a little yeah. out of my budget. That's, that's a little out, out of my budget. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's pretty damn comfortable though. Yeah, yes. he yeah. says it's awesome. Oh man, someday. Well, it vibrates too. It, 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 the music even better. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure you didn't. Uh -huh. We all know what we're here for. <laughs> awesome. So, when you guys were little baby metalheads, I've been asking everybody this. What was a show or a band that blew your socks off so entirely you decided that this was what you were going to do for the rest of your life? Or did you oh, even know? Easy. Did you even know? That's easy. Go ahead. Kiss. Ah! Kiss, Kiss. It for me. Man. Yep. That was way after I was, I was influenced. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of the bands I, that I, I influenced me Kiss like that were, are, there, there aren't anybody that anybody would know anymore because they were local bands that, that played. I want to hear about the local bands too. Um, well, one of them was with, uh, uh, what the hell was it called? Circus. A band called Circus from Cleveland. They put out like one album or maybe two. And the drummer was Tommy Dobeck, who played for Michael Stanley. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I, that was when he was a kid, too. Cool. You know, but see him in a, a gymnasium, that's where shows used to be when I was young. Right. So. Well, like in Seattle, we had the roller rink. Yeah. Like yeah. The, the east side out in Bellevue, the roller rink. And then we had, like, the Ballard Firehouse and some other places where people would play. You would never think they would have played when you look back on it now. Yeah, yeah it was know? just those bands. I, I was enough to influence me. It was circus. There was... Uh, a uh, band called um, Damnation of Adam Blessing. Okay. Um, uh, who else? Was Taskmaster was a band. Oh, that's that, a killer name, they, Taskmaster. They, they were all, but they were pretty much local bands. They, they, they yeah. still did a good enough job to keep me in, with incentive. And to we go. were right behind bands like Black Death and, and Breaker. And right. I remember seeing both of those guys, both of those bands, and hanging out with yeah. them. And, and that was the time I was like, Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. But well, we're gonna yeah. be on the stage next. That's us. That's awesome. So yeah. that's awesome. Cleveland the old Cleveland metal scene was a very tight knit scene. Right. A well it of... seems it seems a lot of the, the the towns that we think of as like hubs now had a pretty kicking scene before the nineties. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And I mean I'm sure you guys know I'm a pretty hardcore Pacific Northwest old school heavy metal really? head. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, whoa. Um, but I always love hearing about the, the, the old school scenes from other cities as well because so much of that stuff influenced the bands that I myself consider my influences, right? So like the generational stuff going on there is really important, especially yeah. to keeping the flame alive. You knew when you were just a little bit behind some of these other yeah. bands, you were like, yeah, we're next. We're right. going to do that. That's awesome. Can't I didn't, I didn't know it when I was I was a baby and stuff, but even when I was like two and three years old, <laughs> I, well, I was so into music and stuff, you know, I, I, I knew I was always somehow going to be involved. I yeah. didn't know. I didn't know it at the time, but as I grew up, I, I yeah. knew, you know, this is my life. That's awesome. <laughs> if now or never. I'm just here for the free beer. Right. right. <laughs> okay. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> so you guys just released... A record or Blood, Bone, and Fire yes. came out on Shadow Kingdom Records. Yeah, and, and Keep It True, Today. Rising, uh, it's like 3.0. Our debut. 
It was yeah. our debut because it's yeah. not it's oh, it's only pre yeah, it's not technically not out yet. Only pre-orders yeah. right. in the United States and and also in Europe. And okay. we just happen to have a big batch of vinyls and CDs drop shipped uh, for this show. So, so cool. this yeah. crowd is is if they, they like it, it first. is is yeah. a lucky crowd. Yeah. 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 So and it was good timing time. for us. Finally, yeah. good timing. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually played two songs off of that, right? One song. Yeah. One song. Ironclad. Ironclad. Yeah. Okay. Sick. Well, do you have any plans to tour around it? Like, do you have any other festival dates coming up? Like, what's the... At this point, no. Our, okay. our, our main plan is once we get back, we, yeah. we've got enough songs that we've accumulated that we're going to start getting down to arranging and writing the next record. Cool. And uh, I think that we, in February, we have a show planned in Cleveland. At, at, right. at, um, at, when we get back in two weeks... We're going to play the Midnight 20th Anniversary Show. I was going to say, you guys are yeah. playing that in, in Cleveland. And some yeah. other bands. And that's at no class, right? At, and, and Midnight, obviously. Yeah. At, at no class. Awesome. And then, no, uh, this is the Beachland. Oh, at, at the, the Beachland. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then... Um, Beachland Ballroom, correct? Ballroom. Yeah. So that's our main priority is to Beach, get... Beach Boys. Hi, Oliver. Ollie. Interrupting. You better be a part of this if you're going to enter. Get in here. Come that, on. That's our main goal is yeah. to get the, the next record recorded and to keep this momentum going. Because getting momentum going, especially after COVID... Has been a bit of a challenge for every band. We're gonna get photos by Oliver. Get over here, as on. Ollie knows. Oh, right, yeah, Ollie, thank you so much for yeah, everything. You're part of the uh, interview now. For us here. <laughs> <laughs> like it or not. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. No, that's really exciting. I'm glad to see that you guys are alive and well and kicking and screaming and doing all the things that you came to do. Yes, absolutely. And and I'm so glad that Solicitor is doing so well because yes. thank you. The minute I I see you guys. It was at uh, Metal Immortal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I bought the album and I became an instant fan and oh, I approached man. you and I was like, yeah. I, I have to meet this that lady. That was a great time. Because uh, your band is fucking awesome. Thank you so much. So, well, and for anybody that doesn't know, Metal Immortal is a festival in Pittsburgh that's run by Deborah of Lady Put on Beast. by Lady Beast. Yes. And I Hello. Wish she, she could talk to us <laughs> through the shirt. Um, they just had their last one, what, yeah. in end of September? It was a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Time Lady Beast is, is awesome, to too. Yes, yes, they're amazing. Yeah. Um, one day this year or two days? It was one day. One day. Yeah. Got it. Uh, killer Underground U.S. Heavy Metal Festival. Check it out if you can. They were just over here, too, weren't they? They were. They yeah. did, what, Hell Over? They played uh, Headbangers Open Air. Headbangers Open Air. Got yeah. it. Got it. Well, that's cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, no problem, awesome. man. Any Any words, roll. None of this metal. <laughs> Excellent. Rock and roll. Okay, rock and roll. Thank, Thank you, you, Amy. Yeah! 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 yeah!